Hey guys, today we'll be placing objects across a grid within Unity. It's very simple. The only thing we need to do is create an empty object. We'll call it Grid Manager. We'll add a component called Grid Manager also as a new script. Create and add. Wait for it to compile. After it gets done compiling, open the script. And we'll need a few variables. We'll have a public int column column length and row length then we'll have a public float x space and y space <coughs> now all we need to do is make a for loop the length of our for loop will be column length times row length because our column times our row is the amount of objects that are going to be placed. We'll also need a public game object to hold the prefab that we'll be using to display the positions of the grid. So we'll just want to instantiate the prefab and we're going to put it at a new vector 3 and set our rotation to 0. And our vector 3 is pretty simple. It just needs for our x is going to be x space times i modulo column length. And then our y space is, or y position is y space times i divided by modulo, or not <laughs> divided by column length. We'll close this off. Apparently I messed something up somewhere. Forgot this. And there we go. Let's see if this works. We need to create a prefab to display in our object. We'll create an oops. We'll just create a cube. That'll be the easiest quick thing to make. We have our cube made. Place our cube in here. Our column length will use nine. Our row length will use nine. We'll use 2 on the space and 2 on the x, or x and y, see if it worked. It placed our objects beautifully, except for it's going like this. We want it to do this. To do that, it's very simple. We just need to add two more floats. We'll call it x start and y start. Then we'll take our x start and add it to here. Then encapsulate this within parentheses and then do the same thing with our y start. Now we have one more problem still. Our squares were spawning this way. We want them to spawn this way. It's a very easy fix. All you have to do is go to your y space, add a negative to it, and let's see if that worked. First actually let's decide where our x start and y start is going to be at, which we will use negative 8 and 4. Negative 8, 4. Let's hope that worked. It worked excellent. And if you want you can go through, count these, and reduce that off and you'll have a screen of perfect gridded objects. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Please give it a like and a subscribe if you did. And until next time, have a good day.